Hi there, we're so glad you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you like to read the short animal stories called fables and try to guess the lessons we can learn from each one? Yes? Well, let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if you can figure out what lessons the mice need to learn before the very end of the story. Belling the Cat, a retelling of Aesop's Fable by Eric Blair. For many years, the mice had lived in constant fear of their enemy, the cat. Finally, the mice called a meeting to discuss how to get rid of her. Life would be perfect if we could get rid of that cat, one mouse said. The rest of the mice agreed. Can't we reason with her? asked a smart mouse. Why, won't she be nice? asked another. One clever mouse said they should make a cat trap. Another suggested getting a dog to chase her away. The mice talked for a long time. They finally decided their problem would be solved if they could just hear the cat. The cat was so quiet, she could sneak up on the mice. At last, a young mouse stood up. Let's put a bell on a ribbon and hang it around the cat's neck, he said. That way, we'll hear her coming. The mice were pleased with this solution. They clapped for the simple idea. They agreed to try it. But one old mouse had been silent. I have a question, he finally said. Which one of you is going to hang the bell on the cat's neck? The mice looked at one another. You see, said the wise old mouse, some things are easier said than done. Bear is wondering, if you were a mouse, would you put a bell on the cat if she was sleeping? <laughs> no? Is that easier to talk about than actually do? Well, Bear thinks the old mouse guessed the lesson. Some things are definitely easier said than done. Bear hopes you come back soon for more clever adventures. Bye for now. Please subscribe.